hope you are reading well so this is me ramin ali and today we are doing chapter number eight that is forces so in this chapter you will learn you will learn to show an understanding of the facts of a force to use a force meter um, to make careful measure of force to infer that how much an elastic band stretches depend on the force acting on it to recognize, recognize the several forces may act on one object so it's the intro and they will tell us that what we have to learn learning outcomes so look at the 8.1 effects of force think of some actions you do in the morning while getting ready to go to school so some of these action involve pushing and pulls and push push and pulls basically uh, in our life mostly whole exam our whole life is an example of force push and pull like when you carry when you lift your bag when you carry your bag so uh, look at this so when you lift a school bag when you squeeze a, to a tube of toothbrush when you press the lift button the these action involves push and pulls it's you are pushing the toothpaste you are pressing the lift you are lifting your bag when you are pulling it stretching a rubber band uh, tugging strapping poking dragging kicking so these are the summer okay a force is a pull or a push pull push or a pull many actions such as squeezing lifting and pressing involve push and pulls okay so that we talk about these these are the actions when you squeeze a tube or a tube of toothpaste or lift or press a lift button you are applying forces on these objects by pushing on them when you are when you put on your socks or lift your bag you are applying force on them by pulling them okay so when you now look at this when you are put on when you put on your socks or lift your bag you are applying forces on them by pulling so look at this on the board I'm reading here so science chapter number eight forces this one okay force is a pull or push these are some that we can do so, uh, what we know what is this squeezing a tube of toothpaste what force is acting on it you are or uh, uh, like example you are squeezing a two tube of toothpaste you are pressing the button of the left you are lifting your bag you are kicking the football you are hitting someone you are stretching a rubber band so these are the some examples when you sit on your chair when you stand up when you run okay so now squeezing a tube of toothpaste is it pull or push with a force is a pull or push but squeezing out of uh, squeezing a tube of toothpaste one uh, force is acting on it so which force is acting on it you are squeezing a uh, when you wake wake up and you go to the bathroom and you take a bath you can brush your teeth so when you squeeze a tube of toothpaste you are pushing it lifting a bag when you ready and you go to school you lift your school bag so you are pulling it lift uh, lifting a bag your school bag is pulling pull pulling then put on your socks when you uh, put on your socks when you are going to school and then you can put your wear your tie wear your scarf wear your shoes so first when you wear your shoes you can 
put on your socks so you are again push sorry pulling okay a force act on put uh, putting on your socks is pulling you are pulling it okay and one more like pressing a uh, left button we can say no we can not use the stairs we can use escalators that run on electricity or we can use the lift so when you are pressing on uh, pressing the lift so you are pushing it okay you uh, one force is up act on uh, acting on the lift button on the pressing of lift button so you are pushing okay pushing it so these are the some examples of your life that you can do every day okay not one day you can do every day not on sunday you are on sunday you can do brush you cannot go to schools okay so, but you can go to the tuition or any center where you learn okay now come towards the next page he's tried out uh, look at here carry out the following actions and determine whether the they are pushed or pulls stretching a rubber band kicking tugging poking stepping and dragging so now you can learn here a force is a push and pull many actions such as squeezing and uh, when look at you are not seeing it okay so these are the push or pull so now what is stretching a rubber band you are first one okay i can write over here first one stretching a rubber band is pulling it you are pulling it kicking a football you are pushing it tugging what's mean of tugging tugging mean uh, when you go somewhere on the village you see some some old man or some sweepers they are tugging the soil whenever you can take a plant for, from the you can take a plant from the shop and you see the pot of flower pot it's a, there is some soil in the flower pot and then it their root and then the flower so when we tug then we can put the seed and we can give the seed water then the seed grow up and become a fruit so that's tugging okay when you tug then you put your seed okay so tugging is what is tugging pushing or pulling let's see how intelligent you are fourth one is poking fifth one is stepping what's mean by stepping stepping like you are uh, hoping or you are bouncing not you are doing bouncing something i think here is one example of it or no no like like this you are running okay but like jogging you are stepping okay dragging mean dragging something like this like here's a marker i can put it here and i am dragging it from one direction to another i am raising the board i can drag the duster from here then here i am dragging the duster okay oh my god i raise the board okay i am dragging the duster how do you know that okay now come towards here how do you know how 
do we know that force exists look at the effect caused by the force of an earthquake on a page 135 it's 137 it's 136 look at earthquake this is the earthquake these these it's a earthquake we know that force exists by observing it force on objects when it inter interacts with them. Study, study the example below to find out what some of, uh, some of the effects of the force are. Rafiq and his classmates are having a football game in the field. Rafiq gives the ball a hard kick. What does kick to... Uh, do to the stationary ball what happens when Rafi kick the ball okay look at you over here when Rafi kicks the ball I think force is acting on kicking Force is acting on kicking. So, what force is acting on the ball on the when Rafik kicks? Okay, it's pushing the ball. Rafik is pushing the ball when Rafi kick the ball the force is acting on the kicking on ball force is acting on the kicks uh, on the ball that is pushing now come to it a force acts on the ball when it kick, when it is kicked the stationary ball begins to move this shows that a force can make a stationary object move like this it's a board marker it's over look at it here i can put it here so now when i kick like this so it's move its direction it go to like this and it's over here i can get it from here and it's go to here it's change its direction same goes to here Rafiq teammate Ali kicks the ball in the same direction it is moving. How does this affect the rolling ball? What happens when Ali kicks the ball in the direction it is moving? What direction? Kicking the ball in the direction it is moving the ball move faster or st speed up. From this we can see that force can make a stationary object move uh, stationary uh, force can make a moving object speed up or move faster. Rafiq's opponent Salim kicks the ball in an other direction. Does the ball still moving in the original direction? What happens when Salim kicks the ball? Ball is, for example, it's a ball. Someone is kicking from here. Someone is kicking from here. Ball is moving in this direction. when salim kicks the ball when salim kicks the ball in another direction so it change it direction obviously when Salim is kicking from here and Ali is kicking from here so the okay look suppose this is Salim no okay this is Salim and this is Ali. Ali kicks from here. Salim kicks from here. 
So the ball changes its direction. Kicking the ball in another direction, the original direction of the ball, force can change the direction of a moving object. Okay. When Salim kicks the ball in an other direction, so it changes its direction. What? Okay. Rafiq runs after the ball, but Salim pulls him back. How does? How does that allow Rafiq? running speed what happens when Rafiq is pulled back okay now what happens okay so a force is acting on pulling him back pulling Rafiq back Rafiq is running uh, Ali pull him back so when Rafiq is pulled back so it means that force can stop or slow down a moving object because when he is running and one suppose i am running and you my friend pull me back so what i stop or i slow down my speed my st uh, speed slow downs or i will stop so it so it means that force can stop or slow down a moving object okay let le, let us learn a force act on rafiq is is a force acts on rafiq when he is pulled back it slow down him or him down this shows that a force can slow down a moving object okay stop or slow down okay you can do like this slow down as it is data books come towards the next page someone kicks the someone kicks the ball very hard towards the goal oh no cries bala the goalkeeper as the goalkeeper as he gets the flying ball what happens to the ball when bala applies a force to catch it what happens to the ball when bala catches it the ball stops when it is caught this this shows that the force can stop a moving object bala want to make sure that the ball does not slip out of his hand he squeezes the ball too hard what happens to the ball the ball obviously changes its shape like this bala squeezes the ball so hard that it goes out of this shape this shows that the force can change the shape of another object from the above example we see the force can change having the following effect make a stationary object move speed up slow down or stop moving object change the direction of a moving object change the shape of an object when happen when bala squeeze it the ball the ball can change its shape try it out kick through and throw and catch a ball to observe the force involved and the effect of this force see the tree start to sway a force must be acting on it yes you got it so if an object starts to move or if a moving object changes direction move faster slower it means that that there is a force acting on it yes you got it when we i uh, think about right when we do when we do not observe any of the force does it mean that there is no force acting on an object hint when you push against the wall you are applying a force on the wall is any effect observed there are different types of force it is magnetic for gravitational force like uh, force of gravity a thrust and frictional force mean of friction you will learn about these force and their effects in the later section key points a force is a polar push a force can change the shape of or motion of an object by making it start moving stop moving speed up or slow down so you can make a question like this define force okay so meet you in the next video that's it in this video we can learn the effects of force only okay
this 8.1 effects of force and in the other video we can 8 point learn the size and direction of a force size of a force okay the direction of a force the magnetic force okay so meet you in the next video so if you are new at my channel so like and share subscribe my channel and also bell, uh, hit the bell icon so meet you in the next video Allah Hafiz